Bad news. East wing, second floor. Uh, what is that then? This? Ah, nothing but bad news. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Fjodor and welcome to my reaction to The Legend of Vox Machina Season 1 Episode 6. Last time on we had a quick visit to Gilmar to stock up on things that could kill a vampire. The journey to Whitestone that was pretty dangerous as Vox Machina was attacked by some undead wolf-like creatures that stole the book of Delilah. Some fun at the camp and then the final arrival at Whitestone and the grim reminder of what kind of city it's now become. The last thing we saw was people who look very similar to Vox Machina being hung on the tree, the sun tree. And the next task Vox Machina has to do is find Keeper Yenen and get information about this place and the Briarwoods, I guess. So let's not wait any longer, let's find out right now what happens and get into the episode. Archie. Oh, it's the, 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 the Hobbit. Red. The voice actor, I mean. The Kestrel? Oh, that's one of the giants walking above. Hey, it's another Matthew. <laughs> another Matt Mercer. Oh, no. And that was enough from Matt Mercer, the rebel. <laughs> Hello, Attack on Titan! <laughs> you. Yeah, back to here. Oh, that's children. Helpful people? Oh, one of those giants is near. <laughs> they are intimidating. Why do you wear this? Are you part of the resistance? The Dorana Crest. Maybe the resistance is using it. We're not with them, but we do share an enemy. Tell me, is keeping Yenin still alive? Why do you want to know? If you want change here, Yenin is the only one who can help bring it. Violence doesn't burn away the it only makes more smoke. Mm. Have faith and wait for a sun. I didn't like that speech. Greetings, strangers. We don't see many new faces these days. It's you. She recognizes him. Yes. A trusted Dorolo can lead them to freedom. They'll listen to the rightful heir. What I need to do requires discretion. Groups can be messy. But you're leading this group. Shooting on the inside too. And all <laughs> resistance hideouts. Oh. We can speak freely here. Sun tree roots. Trust me. I want the Briarwoods gone as much as you do. Okay, so it's a front. And if you try Maybe? to get to that castle, you'll be slaughtered. No. The only way to win is if the resistance is strong enough. Their leader has been captured. Uh, there it is. He said to be hanged. So that happened a, a while ago? Yes, more pike focus. Hear me, please, my child. No, no spell could sever your connection to the light. It's impossible. Uh, I don't know. Duke. Hello. I do hope you and I can engage 
Oh, don't pull his ear off. Oh, okay. He's lost an ear. At least it sounded like that. He does Reginald again. All we gotta do is kill everyone and leave. Those were bad ideas and you should all feel bad. Yeah. And then solar mission sounds interesting. But if we're going to get Archie out of that prison, we need to know exactly where they're holding him. I may have something that can assist. Where is Fox Machina? He, he doesn't know that. Bad news. East Wing, second floor. Uh, what is that? Then? This? Oh, nothing but bad news. <laughs> okay, this is how it's going down. It'll be easier to avoid capture if we split into two teams: front door team and back door team. You know, Scandard's all about the back door. But yeah, I, I, I was just about. <laughs> just about to say that. But also, yes, you are splitting the party. That's not good. I hope the back door team doesn't get there first. <laughs> oh, wait, I've got an epoxy fuck. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> doors. Yeah. Bloody doors. They're actually making a group stealth mission. Keep moving. We can't just leave them. Oh, that's too loud. Is okay. Maybe Percy could have shot the lock or something like that, but that would have been so loud. That's a lot of. Oh. What are you doing? You're supposed to be watching the front door. We came for a fight. That's not good. But here's your chance. Did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Why are you covered in piss? Picked it up along the way. <laughs> Archie. There he is. Get him out. Don't you have keys? Yeah. <laughs> This feels too good. Yeah. Kill the no. Oh. What's a guy gotta do to get some action around here? Oh. Illusion work. That's good. Don't just stand there. Get him. Shit, too many of the rebels are dying. Don't die, don't die. Ah. Shit. Oh, yes, big cat. No, I don't want Stonefall to survive here. Come on, take at least some down. Yeah. Shoot him. Shoot him. Why don't you shoot him? You gotta clear the name of the list. Oh, he got the mask on again. And the smoke. Hello. Come on, do it, do it. 
<laughs> yes. I wanted you to know it was me. <gasps> His eyes. <laughs> yeah, make it gruesome. Wasn't that? Yeah, that was seven bullets. That's a nice sentiment to end on. Cassandra? Maybe on their side. Maybe a spy. Alright, what a great episode. We got to meet Keeper again and, and we got to meet Archibald Desne as well. And yeah, he got captured. And the, the rebel that looked like Matt met a pretty awful end in the hands of a giant. But yeah. Keeper Yenon, essentially. I think her character is all about, you know, giving hope to the people of Whitestone that aren't rebels, you know, in the best way possible, so, you know, the guards tolerate her, but she is actually working with rebels, so I guess she isn't completely useless in a way. <laughs> and she at least helped with, you know, the planning of the kind of heist, but, you know, it, in the end it wasn't really a heist. I loved the little snippets of story that we get of Pike now and her journey to recover the Everlight in herself and I'm really happy that that apparently continues through the season, at least hopefully. I like the planning of the mission and you know the art style that they did it in, showing all the three terrible terrible plans of Keyleth, Scanlan and Grog. But yeah, in the end we did go with a different one. We actually split the party, which is a thing you're never supposed to do in d, &D. And in the end, didn't really make much sense. Because they wasted so much time going through the process of opening that door, failing over and over again, because, you know, doors, obviously. And then just getting pissed on, essentially. And then they immediately joined up with the other group. So yeah, maybe it was just to cover both exits in case someone would flee from there. But I don't know exactly why they did that, other than to make these, you know, comedy scenes. What we also got this episode was finally the Guns of Percy. Bad news got its name and we saw the now new design of the list for more the pepper box. And the list has a number of names on it now, which point to the people that Percival has to kill. One of them being the evil, awful asshole Stonefell, who is a real sadist. He enjoyed killing other people and hurting them, and even letting other people hurt Archie, for example, like the Duke did. And I guess the Duke is another name on the list, if I remember correctly. We finally got the guns and what they are for. And I can't wait for Percy to use bad news for the first time on a living target. Or undead target. Because, you know. But yeah, the brawl in the prison was a lot of fun. We got a lot of stuff from our magic casters like Scanlan and Keyleth. You know, her turning into this big tiger thing was really cool. And I'm still hoping for the Earth Elemental at some point. Please, I want it. But yeah, a lot of death on both sides in this battle, especially the rebels characters, for example, that, you know, they made us like from basically the start of the episode, killed in the most brutal way by Stonefell. But Stonefell gets his comeuppance. Percy meets him and I guess wipes off a name of the list. And I think I gotta double check at some point if the list has six bullets or seven because he did shoot seven times i think one for the hammer one into his gut 
one for the arm, one for the hand, which is four, and then three more times. Yeah, that, that, that has to add up to seven. So maybe the list has just seven bullets for it and isn't, you know, a normal revolver in that sense. But once again, the black smoke or effects the demon that's in him showing himself and I can't wait for the encounter with him. Especially since he puts Percy on edge and makes him pull the trigger even on targets he maybe doesn't want to. At least he lets him turn him the gun on Vex and Vex is kind of rightly pissed off at that. But Percy in his rage of course thinks only of vengeance because he's the only surviving the roller. But good thing he's actually not. Cassandra is still alive and I don't remember exactly the circumstance of the campaign but it appears that she might be the Kestrel that the rebels were talking about, the spy that they have in the Briarwoods at least. So let's see how many layers and turned tables of double agenting she is gonna do and where she's gonna end up again and how that whole thing is gonna develop here in the show because so far they changed a lot of things and it's even interesting for someone like me who's already seen the campaign and you know granted forgot a lot about it so yeah another week of waiting for episode 7 i'm super excited for it and i hope you are too so as always if you like this reaction you can like comment subscribe or share this video these are generally the best things that you can do for me for free and that helped me out a whole lot as does checking out my Patreon, where you can get full-length timer reactions for these reactions here, where you can sync up your own episodes to my reactions and watch it like that. What you can also get there are early access reactions to any show that I watch non-live, like b &A Brand New Animal and Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, for example, up to one week into the future. So if you're interested in any of that, go check it out down in the description below. But with all of that out of the way, I hope I'll see you in the next episode. And until then... Bye-bye.